All right, so that was uh, Try by Kobe Kelly. Um, as I mentioned, obviously our chapter right now is mental health. Let's go four minutes, free write. Let's write about what you thought of the video, any feelings about it, what you thought it might have tied to, anything like that. If, if it tied to Sonic, then you go ahead and tie it to Sonic. Sonic. That's fine. Then you go ahead and write about that. Free write, four minutes. Let's write about whatever you feel with that. All right. Can I title this piece of paper? Go. Free write. Or try falling would be an appropriate title. <laughs> Free falling. Free falling. minute done. Like I said, just keep writing. That's the main focus. Even if you run out of anything about that video, keep writing. That's the exercise. That's hard. Let's keep it to yourself. But keep it on the paper, please. <laughs> seconds. All right, that's time. You have your attention back up here. It's okay if you don't finish your sentence or anything like that. Like you said, the free write. Um, just on that free write, what are your main thoughts? Just on the free write itself. Four minutes, easy to write for four minutes, difficult. Yeah. How do you think? Yeah. Pretty easy, not too bad. Now, did most people write about the video or did you kind of lose track of that and start writing about other stuff? Well, but we'll you know <laughs> One at a time. You know me so well. Indeed, why? Who else we got? Any? I really like the video. All about the video? Good. And yes. We were like two sets of the video, then I just. That's fine. That's the exercise. I mean, some, sometimes when you're writing, the writing, the best thing to do is keep writing, especially when you're working on papers and stuff like that in your English classes, and even you have papers due in here, is just to keep writing. Sometimes those thoughts will just keep coming back to you. Did it ever come back to the video or no? Mm -hmm. See, it's one of those things. It came back to the video uh, for Brendan. It's just one of those things that's got to keep kind of working with it. Um, what can you guys tell me? I know you work on mental health right now. Give me one thing about mental health in general. Someone tell me something. 
I need to learn about mental health. I don't know enough about it. Why? Go ahead. It's very scary. It can be. Yes, that's very true. It can be very scary. There's a lot going into it. A lot of stuff is that even. Yes. Go ahead. It could be caused by um, early experiences or current causes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. It can be caused by a lot of things prior that you might not even think had an effect on you, but realize down the road that it really um, kind of affected you mentally. They don't give me anything else. All right. How does it? Um, Effect. Does it affect just one thing in your body? Does it affect more than once? What's that? It affects a lot of things. Everything in your body is tied in together, especially with mental health. It's one of those things that if you have, I mean, some type of disorder, it can affect you physically and mentally and, and emotionally more so, which is just, I mean, a big factor. And um, with that being said, self-esteem, going off that video try, um, self-esteem is huge. All right, so when you, I know I heard, I heard a comment from one of the first people up there and someone I think said you. All right, I mean, that's, that's common. I mean, it's high school and stuff like that, but it's one of those things that there's more to someone than just that, that video, that makeup they put on and stuff like that. So it's one of those things that there's more to everyone. All right, so you can't just judge what bike's cover. I know you probably heard that since first grade or something like that. Unless the book's only covered. I mean, then it's not a very good book, I would say, but... It happened to have awesome art to make up for it. Fair enough. I can appreciate it. That would probably just be art. But either way, um, what I want you to do now is I want you to list one, like right under your writing, list one strength about yourself. One strength. Not a sentence. Just one thing, one strength that you believe you possess. And obsession. All right. After that, one achievement that you believe you've accomplished, that you're proud of. Okay, and then one thing, keep going up here. I'm not moving too fast, I apologize, just keep writing. Um, one thing you admire about yourself. One thing that you think you do well, that you believe that you can show other people. bodybuilder, do you see any of those things? Those things that you wrote on a paper about yourself, do you visually, like if I look at you, do I see those things? Need. I do? Okay, no, that's, that's what I was, I was looking for. No, that's all right. That's all right. Um, no, I don't see those things. It's one of those, I mean, you, one of those things, I would have to get to know you, and I mean, I know a lot of you guys from working in the past couple of years, and I've seen some of those strengths and achievements, whether it's academically, whether it's on the athletic field, all those things. But it's one, I mean, that's all the people around you have different strengths and things they admire about themselves that you'd probably do the same. So it's just something that you have to get to know someone better, not just, I mean, judge them by how they look, that there's something deeper there. And um, I mean, that's, that's the main thing I want to get out of this. I mean, I know, I know it was a quick lesson, but the main thing I want you to get out of this, the next time you're talking to someone or next time you probably, someone walks by you and you just think twice about it, or you talk about them and just dismiss them, think that there's more to that person and more to what they have to offer. All right? All right, any thoughts on the, this little tidbit that we did here? No? Well, all right, thank you. Thank you.